Okay, so first of all, where's my coffee? So this is us living from Korea. We lived here through coronavirus. It's still here. We're still living through coronavirus. This is why Korea is better than America. It, coronavirus. First of all, I'm a videographer, so I actually covered some of the stories here. And then Cohen, you're... Uh, I was just doing a little bit of research because I work for a consulting company that was like, what's Korea doing differently? Like, why is Korea the example of what we should follow for coronavirus? So this is what we've learned. And we broke it down real easy and simple. First of all was transparency. The government was like, people need to know. And so... They made maps. They made a whole bunch of maps of like, where you should avoid if you don't want to get coronavirus. So this is just shows like instances where coronavirus could have been or someone might have come. And it's not like they're monitoring everyone, like someone's going to do a bunch of CCTV footage. I mean, I think for some cases they did, but a lot of it is just actually like volunteers going to confirm someone with coronavirus. Or symptoms there, of coronavirus or, yeah, or something. Was there. Um, but it's still nice to see whether it's like 100% accurate or not. You know, it's still nice to see. But here, I mean, if people are like scared of getting coronavirus, I think yeah. it's very effective in that. I'm not going to go there today because someone with coronavirus might have been there. Yeah. So yeah, here's this map. And then this one is, says Onokao. It's like, where are you going to go today? Mm -hmm. Should we just do a base of a location? Sure. Um, so here... 34 people have coronavirus, right? That's what it means? That's like one block from where we are. 34 people in our area. Like one kilometer. <laughs> I probably met, probably the GS25. Just is probably one of them. <laughs> I, well, they didn't test me or anything. I didn't have any symptoms. Yeah, so they had these maps. It was transparent, pre transparent. And they gave out notifications on our phones all the time. Yeah, like February, people's phones were blowing up. Yeah. Alert! Now, the last notification we got was like, you can go outside, just make sure you keep two meter distance. I think I have it on my phone. Okay, so the last alert we got was emergency alert to prevent the spread of Corona-19, leave social distance two meters until April 5th. Oh, it still says don't go to work in case of fever, cough, religion, entertainment. Well, I think it's saying if you don't, if you have symptoms, don't go to work. But otherwise, you can go out, just keep a two meter distance. So this is a screenshot I took, but this is what the alerts look like. That's Cohen. That's my home screen. <laughs> it's me. Uh, military culture. Military history. History slash kind of culture. Yeah. I guess Korea is always ready to be on the brink of some kind of emergency or war or something. And so they have because a lot of personnel. Of North Korea. Because of North Korea. So they have a lot of personnel on standby that they can call on in emergency situations like this. Maybe even nurses and doctors. Yeah. So people are just always ready, kind of, for emergency. And quickly came together. And then the drive through testing. Um, and also they have phone booth testing now. Which is a good idea. It does cost 120,000 won to get tested if you don't have symptoms. That's about a hundred bucks probably with the exchange rate yeah. yeah with the current exchange rate anywhere between 100 and 120 bucks but if you do have really bad symptoms they'll maybe test you i don't know i think health insurance maybe covers it we're not 100 yeah. percent sure one of my friends went to get tested but he was younger and they at the time it was like a week or two ago i think the hospitals were a little bit more overrun here so they just sent him home because they were like we have to check older people should have driven through a drive through testing <laughs> big mistake big mistake <laughs> and then we had class together <laughs> um drive through testing and then how did it affect our lives i mean the crazy part was probably around february 20th for us that's when people started locking down and doing quarantine and stuff yeah it's like when the panic wave hit korea we, Except we didn't know. <laughs> yeah, we didn't experience the panic wave so much because we're not on Korean news and we don't follow Korean celebrities. But it was like full on people were locking themselves in the apartments and stuff. That's when like the government was like, all schools have to close down. Like no yeah. churches or like big events are going to... The only way I noticed was I had a shoot. That was a, like a three day shoot from the 25th to 27th, I think. And it got canceled in the middle of it because some of the foreigners we were working with just like bought tickets and left the country and i was like whoa <laughs> should i be buying a ticket to leave the country <laughs> and then i mean i still and then i got another shoot canceled like two three days ago and then or yesterday and then yesterday i had another one canceled but that one was weird because we booked it and then the guy called my my friend who was helping translate 
and he was like, I heard news about coronavirus and foreigners, and so we don't want like a foreigner around our uh, restaurant right now. I was like, all right. So that was kind of lame. But you also got like three shoots. Oh yeah, but I also got three shoots because everyone's like, coronavirus news. We want, we want to see people in suits. We want to see. We want to see the thermal cameras. We want to see yeah. Lines for the pharmacies. Masks, yeah. How, did it affect you any differently? I don't know if it really affected my life that much. I've been working from home. I've been staying at home. I don't really go out that much besides to go on walks. <clears throat> wow. Whoa, good job, buddy. <laughs> Uh, I'm proud of that one. <laughs> so no, my life feels largely unaffected. But definitely affected a lot of other people. And a lot of people lost their jobs here. A lot of people, it was hard to find work. Yeah. That was the people, same everywhere. Yeah. That's, that's probably true. the biggest effect I've ever had. People lost so many jobs. Well, people just kind of like work in offices and stuff anymore. Oh, yeah. pooping. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, whoa, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> um... Good job, buddy. What's it like now? People are out. People are out on the streets. Rush hour is back to normal now. I'm taking the subway and even with a two meter distance, like I'm packed on the subway. Yeah, I went to the park yesterday and there was like barely space to walk. Yeah. I had a stroller and I was like, nope, I can't do it. It seems like a lot of people is like, I did it. I quarantined for three weeks. I didn't leave my apartment and I couldn't take it any longer. That's yeah what it seems like one um, of our friends that works at a hospital we haven't seen her in like two months and she was like i can't come over because of coronavirus and then she was just like i'm giving myself a break from social distancing yeah because she and she really had it they really were like if you bring it back to this hospital you know it's going to be your fault and like we're gonna do you want to be the person responsible yeah. for spreading corona in our hospital so a lot of pressure on them um but yeah two months of not seeing anyone is uh, crazy I can't imagine so yeah that's about it I hope that update was helpful good luck to everyone I mean definitely wash your hands wear a mask we still do that we still have hand sanitizer and water sink stay clean probably gonna do that for the rest of my life now <laughs> but don't you know freak out because everybody yeah. else is freaking out don't cancel a job just because someone's a foreigner <laughs> or don't uh, what else don't uh, <laughs> Don't be mean to other people just because you're scared, you know? Don't let your emotions <laughs> get the better of you. Mm -hmm. That also goes for the future as well. <laughs> Were you worried about Will? I was worried about Will initially when, like, we didn't really know much about coronavirus. I was like, oh my goodness, if Justin comes back with this, Will's such a baby. Mm. What do you want to say about it, bud? I mean, things seem to be generally fine. We went and visited my grandma a couple days ago. This also, like, this isn't the first pandemic, or this isn't the first infectious disease chaos the country's been through. So I feel like Korea was also a little bit more prepared. Yeah, they had a trial run with MERS. I don't know if I'd call it a trial run as much as... Wait, where are you going? I want to change his diaper. Wait, 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 wait. His poop is probably spreading everywhere. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Let's change.